Hey there. So I'm um, eight miles north of Interstate 8 in Arizona and I am here at a place called Sears Point where there's supposed to be some of the most significant petroglyphs um, in the whole of Arizona. want to drive through this in uh, wet weather, that's for sure. Uh, I am in a migration country. I've seen some water um, containers set out here for um, people who cross the border. And you might wonder why I feel I can come out here um, on my own and not feel worried about that, but my belief is that most of these people, the majority of these people, are just come to try and make a better life for themselves and the last thing they want is trouble. Um, so I'm thinking that they'll just avoid other, other people out here as much as possible because they don't want to be spotted or reported, so I figured they just won't come anywhere near me. So the records here are kind of a mess, but it looks like on, um, I can't tell if that's February the 2nd, I think it's February 2nd, was when the last person was here and today is uh, February the 10th. Yeah, here's another real beauty. Look at that. I know that for you guys it's not as much fun just looking at these as it is for me going and searching for them and scrambling all over these uh, rocky crags. So I'm only showing uh, a handful of the more impressive looking ones with you.
to this amazing just this whole wall of panels wow so hey there um so i had a great day exploring those petroglyphs um i didn't see all of them i think there's something like four thousand uh, petroglyphs a lot of them are just individual ones um you know and they're just dotted everywhere you can't possibly um, see them all and take pictures of them all so i just stuck with the more prominent ones um anyway it, this is my camp spot for the night and i have this entire whee, <laughs> The sun is about to set. I have this entire desert to myself. As far as the eye can see, not another person. I don't know if you can see three little red dots there and a couple of reversing lights. It's very dark out there. But the first vehicle that has come along this road in over 24 hours um, came down kind of fast. Did some, I don't know what it did, <laughs> some driving around. Um, came back rather fast and just drove right off the road. So this makes me nervous because I am the only person out here and it's possible that whoever's in there might come to me for help. And that makes me a little nervous being here on my own. I don't have the ability to help them. I don't really want them to know that I'm a woman on my own, so... <laughs> I'm just hoping that they uh, just pull the phone out and call friends to help come and tow them out instead of coming to me. Hey, good morning. I um, just got up a couple of minutes ago. Um, so I had an interesting evening at about um, 9.15 last night. Uh, the first vehicle I had seen, I've been out here for well over a day and a half and haven't seen a soul or a single vehicle. And then at about 9.15 last night, um, this vehicle comes driving down the road really fast for the type of road it is. And uh, I hear him, he, he goes off. Because from here, it kind of goes down into like a big wash area. Um, it's the overflow, I think, from the Gila River. Anyway, I hear him doing some wheelies out there or something. I just hear a lot of gravel turning. And then a few minutes later, they come back up the road, flying up the road. Um, and then I hear a loud crunch. Anyway, um, it's pitch black. I hear him struggling for about half an hour to get out and um, and then he gives up, shuts his lights off and I don't know, really know what happened after that and so I'm not going to go and approach somebody who just did a bunch of erratic driving and drove off a road. There's a pretty good chance that that person is drunk. And it's more than likely a male. The type of driving um, just just said ma male ego. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, it's true. I've done a lot of listening to vehicles, living on my own, uh, out of here in these wild places. And um, you get to know, just from hearing the way a person drives, the kind of person they are. It may be being a little bit judgmental, but yes, we have to be a little bit judgmental sometimes for our safety. All right, I'm going to walk down there. There's been no signs of life, so I'm going to walk down and see if I can get out or if he's got the road blocked. Wow. There's no way I could pull him out of this. <laughs> this is going to take some serious equipment. Whoa, this wheel's off completely. He is in deep. Uh, 
I guess I'd better get out of here before the tow truck comes. Yay, I'm through. <laughs>